Hi friends, welcome back. So I live a pretty busy life, very centrally in the city of Zurich. And sometimes I will leave and go back to my flat three times throughout the day. And when it is three times, the last time I leave my flat is usually during something like going for dinner or drinks with friends. And often I will literally just have time to like throw my back and then head back out. But when you have a full day on your face and body, sometimes you do need to freshen up a little bit to look your most presentable. And so here are my favorite tips for looking chic in literally five minutes or less. A few of these might seem pretty minor, but together they really do make a difference in the end. And that's sort of the whole point because looking chic or polished is usually not about wearing a gown. It's usually all the subtleties that come together and makes for this effortlessly polished look. And with that in mind, the first thing I'm likely to do is to throw whatever jacket I was wearing and pop on a blazer instead. Blazers are the easiest polished statement look, but if you don't wear a blazer, any type of nice jacket will do. People often say that the shoe makes or breaks an outfit, and I'm definitely not trying to take away from the importance of shoes, but sometimes I think that the jacket you decide to wear really goes underestimated. A jacket, granted you keep it on for most, if not the entire part of the night, like part of your outfit will take up a huge chunk of your look. So if you're looking to look chic in a rush, it's probably the easiest difference you can make in terms of the percentage of your outfit. And outside of going for a blazer, I also tend to go for something in a more neutral or dark color. And I will usually wear my nicest blazer. When I say nicest, I do actually mean the one of highest quality. I have one that is a secondhand piece from Jill Sander. I've already worn it a ton of times and you literally cannot tell. The fabric is just completely intact. It does not crease, it falls beautifully, which will always keep my look polished as compared to a few of the more fast fashion pieces that I have that just doesn't have the same effortless uh, high quality look to it. So this is usually the first thing that I will do when I reach my front door and have to leave again in a second. And so not to talk down on shoes, this is going to be my next point. This is usually the next thing I will do is I will throw on a nicer pair of shoes. Okay, my secret is actually that I am usually wearing a pretty nice pair of shoes throughout the day so it's not always I have to actually make the change but if I haven't already I will whatever a nice shoe means to you obviously that is what you should reach for and I would imagine that for a big portion of you a nicer dressier shoe will often be a heeled shoe but as someone who is really tall but also as someone who is on their feet all day and all night even if I go out I do prefer a some somewhat flat shoe just so that I can wear it all day without sacrificing any amount of being comfortable. I tend to go for a pointy shoe instead. A pointy toe is my personal version of a dressier shoe. It's something that I only just really discovered a couple of years ago and it has been game changing for polishing up my personal looks and making them look chicer. Whether it be a boot or this ballerina I have, these are usually the ones that I will reach for when I'm trying to look chic in a rush. The next thing I like to do is to go for bigger or more obvious jewelry. If I haven't already earlier in the day, I will here reach for more prominent jewelry. Anything that takes up a bit more space or shines a bit brighter or just demands a little bit more attention will also just take your outfit from a bit more basic to way more chic. And this can be something as simple as like a thicker hoop earring or a somewhat special, more prominent necklace. Here can also be a little bit of cheating for me because I am usually already wearing somewhat prominent jewelry, like usually the things that I will dress up with to look chic is the things that I will wear throughout the day anyway, but that is just my style and it's not always the case. Sometimes I will go home and throw on a thicker arm cuff or the bigger hoops or I will turn from like a smaller pearl necklace into my bigger one. But again, just anything that demands a bit more attention and is a bit more obvious is just going to take your look from day to night and it is obviously such a quick thing to be done with. The next thing I like to do 
do when I'm in a rush is very subtle, quick fixes to my makeup. I am a former professional makeup artist, so my makeup is really important to me. And if you haven't watched them already, I do already have a couple of videos up on my beauty routine. And something about my beauty routine is that however I look in the morning is usually more or less how I look in the night as well. Like my makeup really do last throughout the day, but there are still a few freshen ups I like to do just to, I think, sometimes feel more freshened up than actually look more freshened up. Just these like subtle differences that makes a big difference to us. So when I really aim short for time, I will just freshen up my mascara just a little bit. Like I'll just recolor the ends of my lashes. This is usually where the mascara would have fallen off if anything has. And the next thing is definitely the biggest tip. And that's because I don't always wear that throughout the day. And it is to use a lip liner. Some of us are very comfortable with lipstick, but I would just assume just from like watching people around me that most women are not that comfortable actually wearing a lipstick. So what you can do instead is wear a lip liner in your natural lip color and then throw a little bit of gloss on top of that. That is something I do as an everyday look, but I also do it as an evening look. What I really love about it is that it's just going to define your lips ever so slightly. It's just going to sharpen the lines and it's going to make you look unexplainably more put together, polished and chic. And a lot of the times people won't even be able to really know what it really is you did to your face because it does look so natural in your own lip color. I usually don't have to go further than this, but if I had to, I would also just add a little bit of more concealer, a little bit extra bronzer, like whatever again makes me feel like I freshened up my makeup. The next thing I wanted to do a quick mention of is hair and this is actually more just because I want to acknowledge that not everyone really has the ability to really look their best or their most chic in five minutes if their hair hasn't already been done. Hair and hairstyle is so individual and in general we just do have different routines for what needs to get done to our hair before we leave our flat if we want to look our most chic and for my own hair it is extremely low maintenance. I literally like it to just look like this more or less all of the time but sometimes it will get a little bit flat and so when I do need a little bit of extra what I will usually do is I will wet my curtain bangs and dry them again so that they will just get a little bit of extra volume and if my hair is looking extra flat or a little bit greasy I will add some texture with dry shampoo as well but that is really as far as that goes and hair is usually the last thing that I will do something about if it isn't just like brushing out the top a little Bit. And outside of these quick and subtle changes, my absolute favorite tip, and for me a game changer, is to have a default outfit for going out. Now you don't have to use your default outfit for going out every time, but if you truly only have five minutes to get ready, this one is a lifesaver. Maybe you are on your way home already in your car or by train or however you get home and maybe you're even on your way home in a work uniform, but even if not, maybe you're just thinking to yourself, wow, there is no way I can make this outfit look chic or presentable you saying any tips that I know or just thinking I need to get out of these worn clothes. Having a default outfit to go will save you so many times. It could also potentially be helpful to sit there and just make up an outfit in your mind that you can then throw on when you get home really quickly but in my experience whenever I've done that whenever I get that outfit on I might not feel like I really want to wear it like I might not want to commit to that and then I end up late so having a default outfit is an outfit that you already know works for you every single time not something that you have to wear every single time but every single time you don't know what to wear you can just reach for this it can help because you know that no matter what else you have to do when you get home your outfit is already sorted. You can have a few of these or just one can do. We're currently just coming out of the cold seasons into spring but I have had one default outfit for these past cold seasons like the past six seven months and I have worn it countless times. My default chic 
outfit is something that to me looks great, it fits well, and it's rather neutral at the same time, so I don't get tired of it. And I don't always wear it, but whenever I find myself thinking, oh, I, like I don't know what to wear, like being in the beginning of an outfit crisis, I just cut my thinking in half right there and just reach for the default outfit and then I move on with my night. Obviously now we are going into spring a little bit, so I will start conjuring up some more default outfits, maybe changing this one up a little bit. I need a version with a dress. I already have something in mind, but just in general, swapping the boots for flats and small tweaks like that. If you like this video, you might like this one as well on having a closet full of clothes, but nothing to wear. And here's another video that YouTube thinks you might like, and I'll see you in the next video.